Okay. If you see a student who isn't playing nice, ask for help or report them. Welcome, gold team. I do normal. I stream normally, so I talk a lot. If if anyone's wondering. I can't hear anything from Raphael if you're talking. No. And then, oh. <coughs> this is your psychokinetic energy. PKE bar. Keep a close eye on your levels. Teams with the highest percentage will be top of the class. You can win energy by trapping ghosts and problem solving. I have no idea what to expect from this, by the way. Your team is now live. Eating, so I oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> <coughs> ah. Where's everyone from? I'm from England. Um, I'm from London as well. Are oh, you from London? I'm from Swindon. Me too, London. Oh, okay. So no one else has done this before. No. <laughs> no. And do you guys know anything about uh, filters? I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Hello, yes. Raf. Raphael. Is that a little bit too loud, actually? No, that's fine. It's fine. Okay. Right. Hello, everybody. Uh, as I was saying, uh, I did this before, and I'm from Brussels, Belgium. Oh, cool. Cool. Okay, cool. <clears throat> well, I did this before because uh, I was invited uh, to a pre-test as I collaborate on the Spook Central website, which is one of the biggest Ghostbuster website, so we've been invited, and they asked me to attend. Fair enough. That's cool. That's cool. Didn't work very well the first time. Let's hope it works better. Now. <laughs> Hopefully so. Hopefully so. Hello, James. Hello, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So how come to you here? I mean, uh, oh. all those Buster fans. Or... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm of the age where it was. Uh, I was into the cartoons when they came out. Oh. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, got got it for a Christmas present. Same as Jimmy. He, I know him. I, uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I was born in the 80s, I mean, 1980, so I'm totally into the yep. Ghostbuster generation. Absolutely. I still haven't seen the new film, though. <laughs> oh. I, I will do. I, do. I don't get to see many films. I still need to see the new Spider-Man as well, so... Oh. It goes. Yeah, the new Spider-Man I haven't seen yet. Oh, let's see. Always got. Hello, Ghostbusters. 18th. My name is Janine Melnitz, and welcome to the Paranormal Institute. I'm going to be your guide for today as we're looking for the next generation of Ghostbusters. So I'm going to let you all in on a little secret, okay? The key to Ghostbusting is Ghost busting all right and working as a team all right now your team is all classified by color you can see what team you're on by looking at the left hand side of your screen if you want to check out the rivals which i suggest you do you can you just look at the right hand side of your screen this is a competition after all now please keep your camera feeds on don't mute yourself and it is preferred that you use your wired headphones all right your wired headphones all right that's enough talk for me i want to get to know all of you let's start with the red team hi everyone hi hey. hello hi. are you excited about the tour red team very, very. Well, I'm really excited to have you. Hello, a cult librarian. I like your glasses. Thank you. You look good. All right, Orange Team. Hi, everybody. Now, uh, Psychic Kane, it says uh, here on your uh, application that you were recently possessed by a demon. What was that like? I, I had a for a couple of days. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad you're doing all right, all right? Good to see you, honey. You look good. Now let's see the green team. Hi everyone. Now it says on your student application you were all recently abducted by aliens in Tahiti. <coughs> God, what was that like, green team? Oh, it was awesome. Accelerating? <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad. Welcome back to planet Earth, green team. I'm trying to give you one of your, you. I mean, you know how that works, right? There you go. Zoe's got it. There you go, honey. And blue team. Hi, Gozerian scribe. Hello. How are you doing? Are you I'm excited fine. about the tour, honey? Sorry? Are you excited about the tour? <coughs> yes, I'm excited. Very excited. And uh, how do you feel about marshmallows, Gozerian scribe? I like marshmallows. <laughs> oh, we're going to get along really well then, I'm sure. Purple team. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Betty Hello. Boo. Betty Boo. Betty Boo. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, Betty Boo, uh, it says on your replication file that you've got mental telepathy. Are you this able to read my mind so right now, honey? <laughs> yeah, I think you just said we're going to win. Yeah. You're good, Betty Boo. You're real good. And gold team. Hi, Rob P. Hi. Hi, hello. Rob P. Hello, hello. Now, uh, Jimmy Finn, <laughs> how do you feel about marshmallows? Oh, big fan of marshmallows. Big, big fan. Good. I'm glad, Jimmy Finn. I'm really glad. Okay, and we've got the pink team. Hi, everyone. Are you all excited about the tour? Yeah. I'm super thrilled. Good. I'm glad to have you. Good on your pink team. And turquoise team, Spectacle Scribe. You got a one man show going on, honey. Yeah, but, you know, second, the best to last. <laughs> Very good. Who's your favorite Ghostbuster? Well, you. Good answer, honey. Good answer. I love it. And the silver team. Hi, beautiful people. Hi, Liam. Hi, Hannah. Don't you all look great? Are you excited? Yeah. Yes. Wow, you're going to be having two classes, Yay. all right, to prepare you for the ghost simulator. You got a tech class and you got a parapsychology class. Now, Silver Team, who are you going to call? We built this city on proton pack. Built this city. Oh, gee, ah, hello. Uh, students of the uh, Paranormal Institute or something. How are you?
you doing? My name is Dr. Frankie Sherman. I'm the tech tutor here at the Paranormal Institute. Welcome to my playground. Let me introduce you to some of my friends. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, goal team. Okay, we look pretty smart, okay? But can you tell me what this beautiful contraption here is? A uh, proton Watch pack. This. You see, that's, that's so pack. cool. All right, Absolutely. can you tell me what a proton pack does? It catches ghosts. It fires well, energy beams. It does? Yeah. Oh my god, I do apologize. I didn't realize you had a PhD. That's my bad. That's my bad. <laughs> yes, it's an immensely powerful battery, okay? It contains positively charged ions that counter the negative energy of the ghost. But you knew that already. All right, moving on to the pink team. Luke, now the proton pack would be nothing without this. It goes by many names. The neutrona wand, the particle thrower, <laughs> the proton blaster. <laughs> it sends out an ionized stream to harness the ghost in place. Pink team, can you tell me the golden rule when handling multiple streams? Don't cross the streams. Yeah. God. I, I do apologize. I really wanted to fire that. Yes, it is don't cross the streams. <laughs> We're talking about total protonic reversal. It, uh, <laughs> it would be so bad. All right, okay. You seem pretty clever. All right, turquoise team. What is this? <coughs> um, it's a ghost trap. Nice. What's it do? traps ghosts yeah <laughs> simple stuff turquoise team simple stuff using the basic principles of muonic particle theory in a positively charged electromagnetic field that temporarily houses the ghost until we can neutralize it at the laser containment system did i uh, did i miss anything out was i was that good i think that was good yeah <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay layman's terms layman's terms all right silver team yeah. You're very lucky, okay, Silver Team, because this is my favorite piece of equipment. This is the Psycho Kinetic Energy Meter. What this does is detect any psycho kinetic energy of other class two wherever you take it in the world. Main man Matt too. Wow, you got a lot of confidence. Could you tell me the name of the man that designed and created? Everything you can see around Egon. me today. Liam. <laughs> Liam. Yeah. He he don't... Oh, we got a Liam. Oh, Liam. Liam. Did you design this, Liam? Did I get my facts straight or? Yeah, must have. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Um, I know exactly how that works and what it does. Uh... <laughs> okay. Well, according to my experience, it was designed by Dr. Egon Spengler. But, uh, you know, Liam, if you're a doctor too, I think I saw you at the uh, ectoplasm convention last year. It's nice to see you again. <clears throat> how you doing? Love the beard. Nice. I like to see it. Now, I think it's pretty perfect, but classic Spengler. He didn't stop there. No. He has designed a psychokinetic energy meter that you students can use from home using this. Spengler's Paranormal Interactive Relayable Intercontinental Telecommunications Network, the Spirit Net. It connects your technology at home, your camera, your audio, your microphone with real ghost-busting technology and key paranormal sites which are broadcast live to you. And students, you're not gonna have to wait long to use it. No, oh, students, you are going into something called a ghost simulator. It's uh, pretty clunky, but it's essential ghost busting experience. Now there are two basic principles. Oh, Attraction, delicious. using sound and movement. Dr. Blair Wyndham Jr. will take you through the sound and movement, but there are a couple of things I wanna say. When you create, all that movement to get the ghost's attention. The movement bar above your name is gonna go crazy. Hannah, Gage, can you create all that movement for me? Can you demonstrate for the class? Nice, fill up your screen, <laughs> move fast. Yeah. Make it contemporary, why not? 
Exactly. Now, when you create all that delicious sound to call the ghost towards you, astral <coughs> analyst, can you create some sound for me? Come on, give me something. <laughs> Oh. oh wow, Hannah! Hannah, jump right in. Oh, you real enthusiastic, Hannah. You real enthusiastic. All right, nice. When you do that, the waveform ball below your name is gonna go nuts. So now trapping. Ellie, one didn't bring up. hi. You're gonna be a volunteer. Hope you don't mind. Could you pretend to be a ghost and come towards me? Oh my goodness! Now I have the ghost's attention. When I have the ghost's attention, an exclamation point will appear above its head. Liam, could you be a ghost that's ready to be trapped? Be all yeah. nasty. Give me that ugly face. Ooh. Well, you're not giving me an ugly face. You're too beautiful for that. But when a ghost is ready to be trapped, it's going to start to glow. At which point, move your crosshairs over the ghost, double click, Activate the ghost trapping technology and suck it right in. Now, students, all ghosts emit something Sounds called easy. psychokinetic energy. Silver team, what did I just say? Psychokinetic energy. Psychokinetic energy, and that is what you are collecting today. And you do that by working as a team. Now, gold team, half of you are going to be trappers, and half of you are going to create the sound and movement. Can we see that? Jimmy. Uh, 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 Raphael, uh, Frankie, you're gonna do the sound of movement. Let's see it. <laughs> nice! All right! Now I think you're ready for Dr. Blair Wyndham Jr. I'm gonna patch you through. Bye, students! <laughs> nice. Keep it, keep up the stretching. Yeah, no, what? <laughs> I get tiring so. oh, Hey everyone! <laughs> Hi, I'm, 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 my name is Dr. Blair Wyndham Jr. I'm a parapsychology tutor here at the uh, Paranormal Institute. Uh, uh, welcome! Uh, I, I know everything there is to know about ghosts, uh, but uh, I, I talk about them all day and all night. So, I want to see what you guys know about things that go bump in the night. So, uh, uh, let's see, who we got here on the gold team? We got Rob. Frankie M, uh, NO3 on 08, <laughs> Jimmy Finn, Popman, and Raphael. Hello, everyone. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Great. Hello. Okay, so let's Ready. see. Uh, Popman, what can you tell me about, oh, let's pick you with an easy one. Ooh, what can you tell me about Slimer? Um, it's gross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. You know what? I think that's absolutely fair to say. Yes. <laughs> Anything else? It's a class five for running operation. Wonderful. We've got the classification in there. Thank you, Raphael. That's really good. Yes. Um, I, I guess really the, the claim to fame is, is it was the first ghost to have been successfully busted by the Ghostbusters. And slimed up to Peter Benkman as well. Hence the nickname Slimer. Wonderful. Thank you, everyone on the gold team. Uh, who we got next? We got the pink team. Uh, we got Luke, uh, Christine, Marie, Poltergeist, nice. <laughs> Pierre, Lee, Pierre, Ian, Ian Mann, Cool Plus Simon. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Okay, Ian Mann. What can you? Oh, okay, big one, big one. What can you tell me about Gozer? Gozer. Gozer. Hi. The big boss. <laughs> big boss. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Anything else? Uh. I would pass the, the end because uh, I, I don't have the word to explain it in English. But... That's okay, don't worry. That's fine. We are here Can to I learn help my That's colleague? Great. Can I help my colleague? Marie? Yes, Marie, jump on Gozer in. Is a, is a destructor. Yeah. Is very dangerous. Yes. Incredibly. Yes. Why, why are we even saying he? <laughs> I know, it's an it. <laughs> Yes, uh, thank you very much, Pierre. Uh, it's, uh, it, it, it manifests itself uh, can sometimes as a he, sometimes as a she. Uh, initially as a she in 1984, then it transformed into a, a massive marshmallow man, which I won't go into in detail. But uh, yes, it was extremely dangerous, very, very malevolent, visited our dimension in 1984. Uh, it almost succeeded in destroying the world. Uh, it was spoiled. But if it should ever revisit... This is very random. Well, it could be disastrous. <laughs> so, uh, let's hope we're all trained Ghostbusters by then, huh? <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, okay, let's see. we got a turquoise team, Alexandra and Spectral Scribe. Hey there. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, hey, hey. so uh, both of you, what can you tell me about uh, oh terror dogs? Anything about terror dogs? He's ugly and scary. Ugly, scary, <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> succinct. Yes, that's what we would go for. Yes, uh, but yes, okay. Terror they dogs. Tend to, they tend to guard the uh, Gozerian ghouls. Yes, yes, yes. They, 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 they are. They're the minions of Gozer. They're the servants of Gozer. They, they undergo the ritual whereby Gozer enters our dimension. Uh, they're known as Zul of Vince Crotho, as you may know already. Uh, and essentially, everyone, they're possessive entities. They want to possess someone in the area. Could be you, could be me, could be, could be a horse. Uh, but if you do find someone that's acting kind of weird, one of your friends, take them to the Ghostbusters very, very quickly. Because if you leave them too long, they could transfigure back to their original forms, which means Gozer is here, uh, which is never good news. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you all what's happening next. <laughs> It's very exciting. <laughs> You're going into a ghost-busting simulator, which is amazing, really. You've got to learn how to become real-life ghostbusters. Now, what you're doing in the simulator is uh, attracting ghosts towards you so that you can then trap them. Now, uh, a silver team, I believe you've already been in with Dr. Frank and Sherman learning how to trap, is that right? Yep. Got some sage nodding, wonderful. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, she didn't uh, m mention me in, in passing at all, did she? Uh, no, sorry. No, well, that's uh, that's difficult, but <laughs> that's okay. Don't worry. Okay, so uh, uh, let, let let's see. Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to do uh, how to be live bait. Uh, now it's very simple. All we need to do to attract ghosts is use movement and sound. So to attract with movement, all we need to do is seem as if we are in distress. Observe. <clears throat> <laughs> Lots of energy right in front of your camera. Silver team, I wonder if you could uh, uh, demonstrate for the rest of the class for me. Lots of energy now. <laughs> Wonderful, the facial expressions are wild. This is really good, great. And now the sound. The sound could be anything you choose. Uh, could be a song, could be a chant. Uh, I, I, I like to do an impression of a ghost. Uh, listen to this. <laughs> They go crazy for that vibrato. It, 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 I would recommend it, but it's up to you, if, uh, essentially. So, uh, Silver Team, once again, you are the guinea pigs. Take the movement, take the sound, give it a try. <laughs> wow! Wonderful! We got lovely different tempos here. Main Man Matu is going, Ooh. and then we got some more frantic ones at the top. That's great. So, uh, let's see if the gold team can top that with your efforts. Uh, it's now on to you, my friends. Give it a try. Uh, 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 and then everyone else swarms uh, in. That's great. And now the pink team. Uh, great! Yes! We had a bass line there, too. That was great. Wonderful. And now the turquoise team, Alexander and Spectral Scribe. Uh, Oh, Spectral Scribe's got the vibrato. Beautiful. Wonderful tonality. <laughs> Great. Well, well done, everyone. Wonderful movements and sounds. I'm going to send you into the simulator now, so very best of luck. You're all doing a fantastic job, and enjoy the rest of the tour as well. Okay. Bye now. Bye. Okay. Okay, so who's going to be the bait and who's going to be the shooters? No, okay. Oh, well, we got to start. I'm a trapper. Okay, I'm going to be a trapper. Okay. Ooh. That's it, that's it. I'm, I'm trapping. Okay. See, I think it's just you, James. It's just... Come on. We need more people making noise. Oh, no, I got slimed. Alright, 
I'm... Oh! Yes, eh? Oh, come on! Geists! Woo! Oh, I got slimed again! Come on, we can do this! Ah! Oh! Does it take off points if we get slimed? Oh, uh, ghosts! Come over here! Come on! Okay, we're almost at max. Woo. Come on, ghosts! Oh. oh, we got we got 98. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. 30 millions in the box. We be fast and they be slow. Well, we're, we're the highest point percentage. How did Purple Team get zero percent? <laughs> oh, we're up at 99. 99. Come on. Get in. Kick ass. Yeah. Okay, so we can we can hear them if we click on them. <laughs> yeah, was it? That was easy. Is that it? Did we win? Pop quiz. Hold on. Alright, well there you go. That didn't seem that difficult. Maybe it was just really noisy. Maybe that's what helped. Okay. Hello. Hello. How did you get zero percent? Unless we didn't. Oh. <laughs> I think maybe they forgot to click on the ghosts. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Oh, we're live now. Hello. <laughs> we're just talking to everyone else. Yeah, there we go. No, we're not live anymore. That's a bit random. <laughs> I think we can go home you happy know now. <laughs> well, maybe we're actually just watching other people doing it. I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't know. This is very random, isn't it? Well, it could be a connection problem or the browser not interacting. Possibly, yeah. Because uh, it wasn't that difficult, unless they just forgot about the fact that they had to click on ghosts to trap them. Maybe. Um... I don't know. I'll take the win though. I'm happy. I'm not competitive at all. <laughs> at least we didn't have to deal with one of us two being disappointed after the football. <laughs> after your lot. Yeah, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say too much about the football. One last thing.
We would like to introduce you to the eyes and ears of this operation. Oh. Your personal broadcasting unit is good. Billy here will be leading the team and broadcasting everything about this footage into the devices that you and us right now. We've incorporated the most advanced cameras and microphones, transmitters, and sensors into the shell of Billy's proton pack. Spangler has barely slept for months perfecting this thing. You can access the spirit net from any location easily. The most advanced digital platform <laughs> in the Electric world. Words. Tapes. Isn't she a beauty? Yeah, she's a real looker. This is the 80s. <laughs> Say hello, Billy. Have we gone back to the, oh. the 80s? Hey! Hello! <coughs> uh, oh. Hey, I'm, I'm Billy Fisher. Uh, I, I, I'm. Uh, guys, guys, is, is this thing safe? <laughs> it is safe. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Guys, it's so good. Take a walk here. Take a walk. Yeah. Where do we find such talent? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, the time has come to begin your first day of ghost school. He's not even Murray, is he? Watching you all grow up so fast. First stop, 550 Central Park West. Otherwise known as the Evo Shandoville Spook Center. The very building that we saved the world last year. And Janine will be with you every step of the way if you have any questions. Just remember your training, keep your eyes peeled, and don't talk to strangers. <laughs> be home before it gets dark, and don't crash the car. <laughs> now go bust some ghosts. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? Oh, look at the fins! The tech! You know, it's kind of misconception that Ecto-1 is a hearse, when actually it used to be an ambulance. How cool is that? I wonder if Janine will put the lights on. Oh, I want the whole world to see that I work for the actual Ghostbusters! I gotta say, Janine, it really is a pleasure to be working with you today. I just can't believe I get to be here. I mean, me! Can you believe it? Billy Fisher, working alongside the Ghostbusters! Oh, yeah. It's a real tremendous opportunity. Uh, hey, Janine, is this thing on? Really? I think I turned it on. I just can't be sure. I, I mean, I checked myself, but, well, there's just so many wires around. It would be just so Billy of me to forget, you know? I really don't want to let you down. Or the guys. Oh, hey, Janine, do you, do you think they'd mind me calling them the guys? <laughs> Say, Janine, what was your first day like? Fairly uneventful. Were you nervous? I'm never nervous. Are you nervous? Oh, no. Not nah. No. <laughs> Not nervous. Just a little sweaty. Uh, my car's going fast. That's all. Uh, uh, well, a little nervous. Just excited, though, mostly. Well, looks like we're here. Oh, they can hear everything you say, by the way. <coughs> oh, uh, okay, folks. Uh, we're headed into 550 Central Park West. Just let me Might work a little bit over time on this one. Yeah. Holy crap! Actual public ice activity! <gasps> Dana! Oh, thank God. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I should be asking you the same question. You know the Ghostbusters do. Dr. Venkman Peter said, hasn't spoken to me in months. No one should be in this part of the building anyway. The insurance... Ghostbusters tour? Oh, Dana, Dana, say hello to the folks at home. Peter Venkman, if you're watching this, know that you have no right to take my life and put it on some tourist map. Unbelievable. <laughs> Boys, I don't know what to say. Enjoy the tour.
Parent, ladies and gentlemen, what a surprise. Gee, Dana didn't look too good, did she? Well, you know, how would you feel if this was your apartment? I wouldn't be too happy, would you? No. Well, you all know what happened here, folks, don't you? Yep. This is where the end of the world almost took place, right here in this apartment. It all started with this television set. When Dana swore she turned it off, but when she came home, it was on. Now, Agent uh, G on the purple team, has that ever happened to you with your electronical devices? All the time. Are you serious in the apartment? I think you gotta get out of there. You gotta get out of there, Agent <laughs> G. And you definitely should take advantage of our new ghost tracking, tracking ghost containment package. Would you be interested, Agent G? Absolutely. Great. Come see me after the tour. That'll be $50,000 and I only accept cash. Okay, so Dana, she thought it was just a normal day in New York City, okay? She's got her groceries. She goes over to the kitchen counter. She puts her groceries on the kitchen counter, all right? When all of a sudden these eggs just start popping out and frying themselves everywhere. Then poor little Dana, she hears a growl. Gold team, can you give me your best growl? <laughs> So Dana's like, where's that growl coming from? It's coming from the refrigerator. So poor little Dana, her hands all shaking. She opens up the refrigerator door. And instead of seeing, you know, guacamole or bologna or whatever, she sees a porthole that goes into another dimension. And a voice that says, Purple Team, do you remember what that voice said? Zool? Zool? Zool, yeah, Purple Team, yeah. Zool. <laughs> Now, you know what? Generally, you don't see this kind of behavior in a major appliance, all right? <laughs> so what does Dana do? Well, you know, she's a smart, independent woman. She knows exactly what to do. She goes straight to those Ghostbusters. And then Peter comes over with oh, this little yeah. sniffing thing, all right? What this does... Are they completely negating the, no one really the, the events right, of uh, Ghostbusters 2? That's probably about it, all right? So, Peter finds absolutely nothing. Nothing was reported. So Dana thinks everything's okay. She goes and sits in her favorite armchair, gets kind of cozy, when all of a sudden, a demonic arm grabs her, and another one, and another one, and she's pulled into the kitchen when she's oh possessed goodness. by an evil terror dog. <laughs> okay, so Raphael and Puckman are number three. Yeah, Saul was Gozer. You must be possessed. Servants. Were possessed there, I see. Gozer was out to destroy. All of mankind. Should I be afraid? Goza was like a meteoroid. <laughs> oh, it's so terrifying I can barely say the word. Goza. Goza. What? No applause? That chair rafting took me, took me. Thank you, Betty Boo. I knew I loved you. Thank you, Paul T. Jimmy Thin. Rob. Oh, thank you, Frankie. All right, that's enough. Rob P. I see you, baby. All right. <laughs> Folks, I want to talk to you all about signs of possession, okay? So if you see someone who's got red eyes, Anti-social behavior, you know, the usual levitation, and in the red case is the terror dog. Now, Johnny <laughs> McGoldface, I'm Johnny McGoldface, I'm very concerned for your life. So if you see a terror dog, I need you to put uh, your little horns up. Can you do that for me? And then you gotta back away. You gotta back it away. <laughs> perfect, perfect, beautiful. All right, can we all thank the Ghostbusters by raising our arms? And can we say, Ghostbusters! 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 Very random. Jimmy? Jimmy? Oh, look at you, you look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, Jesse, be a thing. Sorry, it's, it's just something about this building. To next, boss. Prepare to be astounded by New York's acclaimed trans medium, clairvoyant, and soon to be special guest on the world of the psychic, starring our very own Dr. Peter Venkman. <coughs> Oh, 
uh, I sense that I would be seeing you all this evening. Welcome. For those of you that are not familiar with my work, my name is Madame Alexandre. I am New York's most renowned media psychic and part-time actress. Now, today, as part of your Paranormal Institute ticket, I am delighted to be able to offer all of you free spiritual readings, provided, of course, that the spirits are there. Now, by a show of hands, can I see those that would be happy to partake in a reading this evening? As I like to say, <laughs> that's the spirit. Please then, place your hands on the desk in front of you or in front of your monitor, just like so, and then repeat loud and clear after me. We call upon the spirits. We call upon the spirits. Upon the spirits. To join us or now. To join us now. To join us now. Join us now. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, wonderful. Now. Okay. That's it. Let's see what we can get. I'm getting. Okay, interesting. I'm getting something to for John T. <laughs> yeah, always go to John T. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. John T. Spirit is telling me. Or that they're showing me. Did you once try and grow a mustache? Yes, just the ones. Just the ones. Good to see that we got a very strong connection here. Really. Thank you <laughs> for that. Um. Uh, okay, thank you, Betty Boo. Why am I? Thank you, Spirit. Why am I seeing a lot of musical instruments, a lot of musical notes, a lot of? Maybe am I right in saying that when you were younger, you used to play a musical instrument? Uh, yeah. Yes, but you no longer play it anymore, am I correct? True. I hope she Thank doesn't you. do something right about Thank that. Thank you for making that connection with me today. <laughs> now, me um, out. Agent G, okay, Spirit is showing me, um, what's that toy? What's that toy uh, from your childhood? Uh, from your childhood. Careful. Uh, do you know what I'm speaking about? Do you still have it? I do. You do. I can see it. And what's its name? Barnaby. That's Mr. the one. Rabbit. That's the one, Mr. Rabbit. Thank you for your connection. Now, um, interestingly, Pokeman. Pokeman, you got a lot of spirits coming to you right now. Pokeman, you're not an Aries, are you? I. I don't know. Okay, good. Well, it doesn't matter. If you were an Aries, this wouldn't work. I'm going to presume that you're not. Now, I'm oh, going to try and get a message from Spirit. Uh -oh. Now, as you can see, I got these two empty chalkboards. They used to belong to my great aunts. And when they were younger, they would doodle on them until one day we discovered that they had a gift. They could tell us messages. Now, I can see that Spirit is trying to get something to you. Spirit, can you send that message to me as well? Put it in another board. Okay. Let's see if we can do this together. Okay. What was that message that you just received, Pokemon? Maybe it was black? White? <laughs> uh, okay. Um that usually that usually works. Okay, weird. Agent G, was there a name that popped into your head just then? Gozar is coming. Go Gozer is coming. I don't know what that is. That's uh uh okay. Oh. It's concerning. That's Ladies fine. and gentlemen, in preparation for our tour, we discovered a room that didn't exist on any plans. A oh. Shandor secret. Since we prized open this door, the American Museum of Natural History compared the discoveries when Howard Carter discovered Tutankhamun's tomb. As in the evil Shandor? You've heard of him? Oh, he was the architect of this building. He used rare elements and materials that made 550 Central Park West exactly like the telemetry trackers NASA used to identify dead pulsars. He made this building a psychokinetic supercharger. Oh, well, seeing as you know so much, you sure you need to take a pee? Oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Phew. 
kill. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 no, please, come on in. Make yourselves comfortable. It's, 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 it's not as though this womb is strictly prohibited to the general public. I, I mean, I mean, you can't just, you know. Well, uh, seeing as the confidentiality of my research has been somewhat compromised, I, uh, I may as well introduce myself. Uh, my name is Professor Kit Pall Palladino, uh, Professor of the Occult, of the Supernatural, and of uh, Witchcraft at the American Museum of Natural History. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, seeing as you have all just waltzed in here willy-nilly, uh, ah, Agent G. I, I, I'm assuming you're well aware of the historical significance of the womb we're all currently stood in. Absolutely. Completely aware. Oh, perfect! Would, would you mind explaining to everyone else where we are? We are deep, deep in the bowels of the American Museum of Natural History. What the devil are you all about? No, 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 God, no! Well, no, we are in the private Called study it. of the Evo Shandor. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, ah, okay. Ah, Jimmy. Jimmy, would you mind to explain to everyone else just who Evo Shandor is, please? <clears throat> He's a Goza worshipper, or leader of a Goza worshipping cult. Very good, Jimmy. Anything else? Um, he was an architect, and he ah. uh, designed the building. Jimmy, 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 you know what? For a second, I thought I was trapped in a womb filled with imbeciles, but uh, you <laughs> have the redeemed them all. Bravo. Yeah, yeah, he was the architect of this very building, which, and you're like this, he built using uh, unusual materials, such as a uh, cause of uh, pure selenium, which he used to turn into a, a superconductive antenna by, by pulling in and concentrating spiritual turbulence, uh, as we saw well, last year done. with the return of Goza. You know, um, we still have no idea how he got his hands on just so much My God, there's an inscription in the bottom. Uh, sorry, um... Is it a fake? Sorry, but it, but it, but it just says that the, that the mine lies underneath the softness. So, what the devil does softness mean? Um, well, go on, seeing as you are in here. Ah, uh, Betty Boo. Would you <laughs> consider yourself to be something of an intellectual, Betty? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, perfect! Piece of cake, then. Blagger. I'll give you and your teammates ten seconds to crack this code. Go for it. Gail's not here. <laughs> Stupid old fool likes intellectual stimulation. <laughs> Stupid old fool like intellectual... I've got a particular oh, feeling that bad. might not be right. <laughs> Maybe it's a, a code to something in this womb? It sounds like a disease. <sighs> Uh, you know, I wonder show. what it could possibly be. Fossil. Fossil. <laughs> My God, well, nothing gets past you. So if I was to walk over to this fossil here and pick it up, there'd be a, a clue. Who'd have thought that, eh? Well, it just says portrait. Well, it can't be that. Portrait. It can't be that, is it? Oh. It's the plans to the, the Shandor Mining Company Shocking. In, in Somerville, Oklahoma. Nice start. You know what? Um, mm -hmm. Let yourself. Graduation oh. again, What's next, boss? You're in luck, kiddo. It's the finale. We're meeting Dr. Rudolph Whitehead? Oh, have you read his book, The Gates of Gozer? I've read it cover to cover. I am an intellectual, but uh, I haven't gotten around to it. Oh, you should. It's a real page turner. I mean, even if he's a little critical of the guys, and he's got some some crazy theories, goes and will return and wipe out New York like they did years ago with the Sabulia. <gasps> Just think, all of Sabulia wiped out. Just like that. Sabulia. Oh, 
We are waiting, right? Yeah, yeah, there's nothing happening at the minute. <laughs> so they had the, the Shander Mining Company. I don't remember it was there in the in the preview I did. I might be wrong. Okay. But anyway, this is a note to the last movie. Those past uh, Okay. You can see this in the trailer, by the way. I didn't spoil anything. All right. <laughs> What is my watching, James? Um, <laughs> uh, screen two. Okay. <laughs> Fair is enough. that what you can hear? Can you hear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Yes, there's the new one coming out, right? Or already came out? Yeah. Yeah, she's going to see it on um, Wednesday, so she's watching the previous ones to catch up. Uh huh. So, is it a remake, a sequel, a reboot? It's, I think it's it's supposed to be a it's a continuation so it is a sequel of some kind oh, fair enough i don't even know if i've seen it i've definitely seen the first one i don't know if i've seen any of the others no i've, I've seen the first one but i've only seen bits of the other ones okay uh, she likes all that sort of stuff though don't she i think i've seen more of the scary movie films than the scream films yeah i think again i've only seen the first scary movie film i think <laughs> Is it is, it is it the one with the the uh, take my good hand? Is that that one? Should we um, contact support? <laughs> I don't know. I can't even remember now. I, I I remember seeing the the one with the butler where he's got the uh, the dodgy Jeremy Beadle hand. <laughs> I think that's the second one. Oh, is it? Isn't, oh, that, that... Where they're all in a, isn't that where like is that sort of the mansion? The house on the haunted hill. Ah, uh, maybe it is then. Yeah. Well, I think I've seen that one anyway. <laughs> I've probably seen them all actually, just not really realised I've seen them all. <laughs> Do we know what we're actually waiting for? No, I have no oh, idea. We've lost all, our... We've lost oh. all our energy. What? Oh, where's it gone? Man, if we lose now, I'm not going to be happy. Well, we just have to do what we did before, just randomly click on the screen. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> mm. I think it might have crashed or something. Isn't, uh, isn't this thing supposed to finish at nine? I don't know. It's not far yeah, off now. It's around 75 minutes. Okay. Mm. So maybe quarter past half past, something like that, maybe. That's 20 minutes left, something like that. Mm. Yeah. I'll try to contact support. Let's see what happens. Technical problem. Maybe we're just ahead of everyone else. Chat. I don't know. Some good answers on the gozer, though, James. I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm not that good in. I haven't seen the films for ages, actually. Thinking about it. Well, it's it, yeah. I mean, it, because I, yeah, he. I don't want to spoil it, but he is um, in. Uh, oh, afterlife. afterlife, right, okay, okay, I get you. Uh, yeah, I need to watch it. Is it still in the cinema? I should watch that. Probably not now. Uh, it must be coming onto Sky, uh, for the like, Sky store to buy soon. Um, cinema, Swindon. It's probably, it's probably not in the cinema anymore, is it? I'm really rubbish. 
How was it that long ago? Was it? <laughs> yeah. I'm rubbish with cinemas. Oh, oh. To attract it. Right, okay, so I'm gonna be clicking again. I'll probably just make some noise and click. Try not to get slimed, okay. We could do this. Let's get back up to a hundred. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a woman. Ah! Oh, I got slimed straight away. That's not good. We've gone down, but this isn't good. Ah! That's it. Right. We're looking at the fridge. Come over here, ghosts. This way, that's right. Come on. Come on, there you go. Over this way. We need to get the points up. Come on. Right, there we go. Keep coming this way, ghosts. Come on, ghosts. Oh, no. Oh, you bastard. Right, come on. Over this way, ghosts. Over here. Oh, you bastards. We're getting slimed again this time. Right, ghosts, over this way. Come on. That's it, that's it, there we go, that's good, there we go. Right, come on. Come on, ghost. Alright, oh, good, good stuff, good stuff. There we go, come on, keep coming, ghosts. Come on. Who's the bait? Come on. <laughs> come on, ghosts, over here, over here. Oh, no, shit. Come on, ghosts, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Ah, oh, fuck off. Sorry about the language. <laughs> right, come on, ghosts. Over here. Oh, okay, 46. That wasn't as good. But we were on 100%. Ginny? I lost you. Are you there? <laughs> this building's crawling with ghosts. Send them our way. We want some more points. This is all above my pay grade. There weren't meant to be any ghosts. I'm just a receptionist. There's never meant to be any hey, ghosts. Hey, it's bad catching them ghosts. Real heroic. I need to head back to Echo One. Can you hold the fort? Yes, ma'am. Okay, students. Let's try and find some ghosts so we can get our PK energy meters back up. That sounds like a good plan. Wait. Can I smell pizza? Oh, is it Slimer? Who is it? Hello? H hello? <laughs> it's Billy from the Ghostbusters tour. Um, oh. Open up. I need to find some ghosts. Oh, hey, guys. You made it. Hey, everybody. These are my friends, the Ghostbusters. And the pizza's here. <laughs> Come on in. I could get some pizza right now. You're just in time. We're just about to break out the pinata. It's a terror dog. Made it myself. Heads up. When you break it open, there's a candy me inside. Funny, huh? It's because of the... Never mind. Hey, I'll give you the tour. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, okay. So, pizza's here, and we got some bagels, and some shrimp, and... Uh... Oh, hey, have you met Marty? Hey, Marty! Marty's my chiropractor. He did some excellent work on my C2 and C3. You know, being stuck inside a terror dog for a day sure puts a heck of a strain on your C spine. Hey, you guys want a beer? Oh, this time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? Okay. Right. This way, guys. Oh, jeez, not again. Second year running. <laughs> Can a guy go to a party without some kind of apocalypse? Okay, Slimer! <laughs> oh, oh. How am I supposed to get points in that? Because area and crypts, what can possibly go wrong? You need to come in. If you can hear me, I'm going to find Dr. Whitehead. I'll try and make him close the portal, and maybe Gozer won't get back through the cross rip. Hmm. Maybe not. Ghostbusters might even give me a promotion. My children, the second coming is almost amongst us. The dark <laughs> realm will eclipse the light. What could possibly Gozer go wrong? is coming. 
<laughs> Up until now, we have interpreted the dark path laid out before us from the Holy Scripts. And while our faith is undeniable, now is the time when we'll hear the voice of our own God. Come, my friend. Are you ready, my dear? Yes, Master Rudolph. His whispers have turned to screams. <coughs> The destructor must be heard. Repair the circle. My mind. I feel it. Open him to Goza. This vessel won't oh, last go. long. The portal. Is it prepared? Open, my lord. Our holy dead wreak havoc Keep across together. New York. I have enough <laughs> energy stored in meters all over the city to open more portals and gateways. The superconductor transporter has been erected on the roof. All is ready for your arrival, my lord. And what of the fools who faced me before? Trick fools. Oh, the Ghostbusters? Myself into the is gonna return. Rank. I gotta get a message out. The city depends yes. on him. While they live, they will pose no danger to our land. They did before. They must die. Uh, uh, yes, my lord. I, I, I am sorry. I, 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 I'm sorry. Forgive me. Yes. Uh, all hail the destructor. <laughs> all hail the destructor. All I gotta get out of here. He's moving closer, oh. though, right? <laughs> Since we're gonna have to do some uh, ghost dusting. Ow, my oh, arm! Those damn now. Gozerians nearly killed me. I need a bandage. Oh, it really hurts. I never met. Is his home? Oh, they're I'm going to take you from sinners to right. winners, and the team that burns it best is going to win all my energy, yep. energy, Not like energy. Not so, in any way, of find course. yourself some space out on the floor, or if you're doing it from your chairs, I want to see your torso sweating, okay? Here we go, first move. <laughs> We're just going to start with some easy stepping. There you go. You're walking the road to hell, and it's paved with good intentions. Rebecca P. I love the fact that other people are actually before. joining in. Love to see some experience. <laughs> Dust the demons off your shoulders now! There we go, Frankie M! You're not Delightfully demons, 80, and you got is. a lot of them! Alright, next move! We're gonna take our hips to the front! Side! Back! Side! <laughs> front! Whole tea! Feeling sexy! Feeling oh yeah! Oh yeah, just work what it! To do. We're gonna take that chastity belt and strap it on! Strap <laughs> on that chastity belt! Just like Grandma always taught you to! Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling parched. What's parched. this? My very own branded holy water just not on and on for parched. the rest of eternity. <laughs> what a steal! Drink with me. <laughs> <laughs> Burn so good, but there's no rest for the wicked. Now, Jimmy Fifth, I want you to talk to me about people who really annoy you, okay? Maybe these are people who like talk in the movie theater, or people who drive too slowly. Who are these people, Jimmy? 
Uh, Tottenham fans. <laughs> oh, take care of that. The worst. They sound awful. <laughs> we're just going to take them and we're going to punch their faces in, okay? <laughs> just break their noses, knock their teeth out. If they're not screaming, you're not punching hard enough. Very nice. Hulk man, wow. why are you not punching? Come on, we got to crush I'm not punching out of principle. <laughs> Excellent. All right, very good. I like how no three, no eight. You're doing a good job punching up. There we go. They're very tall Tottenham fans. All right. Coming over to the purple team, <laughs> Betty Boo, same question. Who fair really play. annoys you? No, fair play. Fair play. Be careful. My husband. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they are the worst. We're going to take their heads and bring it to the knee. There you go. Just oh, that's crush amazing. Them. Crush okay, that husband's head. <laughs> Yeah. All right, there we go. Punching tall people in the face. Love to but not see Tottenham it. Very fans. Nice. All of a theme here. Very Ugh. good. Let's make sure we punch the children as well. We don't want to leave Oh, you got to punch out. the children. Great work. All right, over to the purple team. Purple team, what's your move? <laughs> right, oh, what's that? Right in front of you at neck level. There's a lot of <laughs> they look like the dancing. Here, That's all they do. I really appreciate that's nice. Very good. Kind of be like a little pop pop with it. Very cute. All right, swim through the pits of hell with me. Here we go. It's the final lap. Well, it has come time for me to announce who's gone from sinner to winner. And today that is the purple team. Uh, Congratulations, purple team. Gold team, unfortunately, you're working out with me for the rest of eternity. Oh, Let's man. Lunge. <laughs> Damn that purple team. Ah, Death drawing It is so nice to see all of you. Well, it is nice to see me too, I am sure. Decent drawing. <laughs> but of course, my name is Amy Dubois. And I'm the world's most famous muse. Uh huh. But seeing all of you here today has inspired me. Everyone, for me, please go get a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. Something to draw with very quickly. Allez. Allez. See, I am very happy to have all of you here today because I believe we could be very useful for one another. You see, <laughs> I have been amused for the world's greatest artists. You are very amusing. Uh -huh. Picasso, Bob Ross, all of these wonderfully talented and tortured artists have all been inspired by me. And so throughout the centuries, I captured uh -oh. all of their creative energy. We got more gazer energy them. from Raphael Pokemon and number now, three. As you can see, I am all alone. Just... And I must search for a new creative genius. <laughs> so in exchange for your work okay. today, I will reward you with some of that energy. Yeah, you're coming through with massive gazer energy. It could be very useful for you, no? <laughs> Excellent. Alors, the challenge I pose to you today is this. I would like for you to draw me a portrait of an opposing team member. Opposing but team member? I would like you to draw their dark inner soul of this person. Dark inner After soul. After this, to right. impress me. Allez, go. All right, we're going to go with that one over there. I'm actually drawing now. And if you need to look at your opposing team members, 
Just click on your name on the right hand side of the screen. I'm not very good at drawing, guys. I have to warn you. You know, I posed the same challenge to Vincent Van Gogh when I first met him. Oh, at first his work was all sunflowers and chairs, and it was very boring. I said, Vincent, if you want to get people to notice you, you Sucks. must go darker and deeper within yourself. I may have gone a little bit too far with that one. Alors, mes amis, 30 seconds has arrived. Purple team, please show me your creations. Oh, look at that. That's, ah, that's predictable. Oh, predictable. Oh, okay. I don't this think anyone's drawn me. I'm happy with that. Disgusting and distorted use of colors here is very emotive. I love it. <laughs> Rebecca, <laughs> this is a very distorted image of a human face. It seems to be someone who is perfectly round. That's, that's my one, it's if anyone wants to like see. <laughs> oh, it's so enigmatic. Ah, it's gentil. I see great detail in this work. Ah. It reminds me if the pre-Raphaelite portrait artists like Raphael got possessed and just drew something very quickly. Ah, oh, yes, it's very reminiscent of this. Excellent. Betty Boo, I see you have done a very emotional brushstroke version An emotional of a face, stick figure. and then given him the body made of sticks. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Such distorted <laughs> illusionism is so incroyable. I love it. Excellent. Okay, over to the gold team. Gold team, please show me all of your work. Ah, Rob, I see you have made a teeny tiny little portrait. This person has horns the same size as their face. How disturbing and destructive. I love it. <laughs> no, no, I see a great... The magnitude of this composition. Uh, I love it's Raphael's one. That's disturbing. good. Excellent, oui, I love it. Okay, Raphael, encore. This reminds me of the early S Dali's work, yes. <laughs> That's I what hope I was that's thinking. what you're going for. I taught him everything he knew. <laughs> oui, oui, I see this, I see this very much. Oh, it is so hard to decide. Everyone has done such a good job. Oh, but I believe the purple team has made my favorite creation. Oh, of come days. on. The purple team, please take my energy. Again. A bon chance on your It's a fix. Au revoir. <laughs> It's a, it's a fix. <laughs> Purple's not a better colour. Gold is a better colour. And the world said goodbye to one of fashion's brightest young stars. <laughs> Beau Sauvage, 1954 to 1985. Oh man, they're up to 50% uh, well, now. They're ahead side. of us. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 jaunty, sweetie. What are you doing trespassing in my boudoir? Is there a, <laughs> anything you want from me? Anything you might need? <laughs> you know exactly Always what I to want. jaunty. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I don't think I can give you that in front of everybody. Is there anything else you might be after? I'd like some energy. Some energy, please. No, no energy. Oh. Oh, you're with the Ghostbusters, are you? And you're here for my really psychopathy, but well, yeah. now energy, are you? Oh, jaunty. <laughs> you're just like the rest of them. You just take, take, take. Well, no more. No more, says Bo. You're going to have to help me out first. How does that sound? Perfect. Okay, fantastic. So, ah. I need some models to showcase some potential new looks for my runway in the Land of the Dead. I know. Get Very your model faces exciting. on, guys. The theme is Creatures of the Night. No, creatures so I'm going to give night. everybody one minute to go away and put on something spooky. <laughs> no, we're thinking what? vampires, we're thinking Egyptian mummies, um, we're thinking werewolves. Bring me anything. I Do not see a bring me boring. Sack. Three, two, one, go. What the hell? Bye bye now. Um. What we need now is like um, video filters. That goes for you too, Frankie. And you, Raphael. Go away. Put on something scary for me. You can do worse than that, though. I've got a black sack. That's all I've got. I'm working with it. Uh, right, I'm making a some eye holes. Uh, I may suffocate. Okay, sweetie, you need to call me through the look after, you got to be alarmed for that. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. <laughs> okay, look after yourself. 20 seconds now, <laughs> finish up. 
finishing touch is I want to see details, I want to see tiny nuances, I want to see perfection. Tiny nuances. Oh. How's Ten, that? Nine, eight, seven, six, five. This is as good as four, I can do. Three, two, one. Strike a pose for me, sweeties. Man, it's hot in here. Oh. Oh, what a feast for the eyes. Oh, where do I begin? Okay, House of Gold. Jimmy Finn, what's happening to you? What's happening to your face? Uh, it's all falling off. Oh, oh no. my goodness. Oh, oh my no. goodness. Are you okay? No, no, I'm not okay. Jimmy, Jimmy, <laughs> do you need me to call somebody? Please, please do. Oh, Jimmy, someone. Jimmy, well, I I'll see if I can squeeze it in for my busy schedule, but if you die, come down to hell with me. We'll have a party. <laughs> Rob, what's happening to you? I I'm not sure what's happened though. It seems to be in a cloud. A black, yeah, black cloud. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> spooky, but I'm more worried about your, uh, the air. Uh, just it's... breathe for me, would you breathe for me? It's okay, okay. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. That's nice cause for concern. I don't want to be sued, but, uh, okay, <laughs> I'll just have pop pants, just turn into a pumpkin, Raphael, nothing's changed, and that's fine. You are scary enough as it is. Yeah. Uh, Frankie, <laughs> fantastic work. No, no, A. Oh, the eye thing. Oh, it's horrible. So don't stop it. It's beautiful. Look after yourself. House of Purple. Oh, 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 tea guys. Oh, good. I like that. <laughs> what we got going on in here? To get out of there, it's too hard. Faulty guys. Well, that's what it says on the tin, I suppose. Faulty Agent guy. G, she's barely changed, but that's fine. Uh, Rebecca is a deer oh. now. Is it a deer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, fantastic. They are spooky. <laughs> Betty Boo, they are scary. Some sort of freaky pair, and a dinosaur can mine. Yeah, I've been possessed by sea babies. Mm, well, I have no idea what that is, but I do not want to go near that, but jaunty, jaunty baby, you are coming straight down to hell with me. How does that sound? Uh, that was all I ever wanted. Oh, you know give yourselves a round of applause, everybody. Oh, jaunty, I love you. Oh, oh, I can see some of y'all are keeping quite a big secret. Be careful, don't hurt anybody. Bye-bye now. Billy, come in, Billy. This is Ray. Are you there? We're getting a lot of destabilizing feedback on SpiritNet. The system is close to overload. Guys, Billy here. What are you doing? You gotta get to the roof. Sensors are indicating that's the epicenter for the volatile PKE readings. They're off the scale. Winston here. It should be safe. Hi, Winston. Yes, I'm fine. What do you want us to do? Go to the roof. God, the best place. Always, always go to the roof. How are they going to keep safe? There's an old proton pack in Ecto-1. Janine, go grab it. Will do. Billy, find a way to the roof. Janine. Elevator. It's west of the stairwell on the 22nd floor. I think it leads to the room. Well done, kid. I got the pack. I'll meet you there. Janine? Yes, Billy? Please hurry. Oh. Gozer attack. Oh, look, everyone's back. This must uh, be the final Janine? thing. Come on, guys. I'm in a cage. Just in time. I was beginning to think you might not show. Oh, thank you for your concern. Whitehead? Jeez, cool it with all the bad guy stuff. You've already released all the ghosts. Isn't that enough? Fool. I've only just begun. Uh oh. Gozer is coming. Gozer will harness your self obsession. Your fear, oh, your look, cruelty, there are humanity that sucks. is finished. Together, <laughs> those <laughs> and I will destroy and yeah. will recreate anew. We will use I think your it's all a lie. It's all a lie. human destruction and magnify it to magnificent ruin. All those who stand by Goza. Show yourself. Oh, look, it's Raphael, it's Pac-Man. What are you guys doing? Number three, number eight. You're all Gozer. 
God, you're still alive. I've just been chased down 40 minutes worth the corridors by, by, by Jim, the maintenance guy, and, and Madame Alexandra. Well, she's talking in tongues. And you know Rose, the nice little craft lady? Well, she's not so nice anymore. It's possession on a mass scale. Lewis, get out of here and go get the Ghostbusters. Oh, no can do. I already tried that. Whitehead's electrified the Ghostbusters HQ. Oh, the guys can't even get out. What? It's all down to us. Lois? You were a terror dog. What should we do? Oh, well, I'm not a Ghostbuster, but I well, once saw this movie. I took Marty. It was a two for one matinee. Lois, focus. The way to vanquish a demon, you have to say its name out loud. Goza. To name it. And I know who's behind this. What's my ex? Zool. Zool. Everyone at home? Repeat after me. And I'll say it with you. Zool. 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 What happened? Well, you weren't feeling yourself. Everyone at home okay? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. I have to go downstairs and check on the residents. Good luck. Zool. Zool. Greetings! Almighty! Goes of the Bazorian! The destroyer! The destructor! The traveler! You are here! I have brought these humans, and they will be at your will. Uh-oh, where's Gozer? I can't see. My, my ecto goggles are jammed with static. <gasps> Oh, come on. Listen, Dr. Whitehead, why don't you leave our students alone? Who needs an army of dogs anyway? needs no army. No, no, my love, no, please. Oh, dear. That's not good. Predictable. Janine, you gotta do something. Blast her with the proton pack. I ain't no Ghostbuster. This ain't covered in my contract. You got this. It has to work. I'll give it my best shot. Oh. Oh, you're just gonna anger it. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh shoot! The pack's busted. What now, Billy? I don't know. Throw the pack. Throw the pack. Do something. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the residents. Everyone's been Sweet, telling us how love Sweet, goes on, them. right? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone on SpiritNet, focus. Place your hands on your device and, and think of someone. Yes. Something. Really think and, and picture that love flowing through you into your device. Ready? Yes, I'm This ready. is getting a bit Tron-like, right? Two. Save now! Oh. oh, that was pretty easy. Janine, listen to me. Yeah? Gozer's feeding off spirit Oh, we're all gozers now. That's where it's getting its energy. It's oh. literally goes in there. In the machine. Uh oh. Have we turned into the Matrix now? You gotta follow Gozer in a spirit net. Can't you just pull the plug? The problem is, we may have piggybacked the system on U.S. government servers, and Oops. it could, in theory, uh, infiltrate every network and electronic system on the planet. 
It could blast nukes, crash planes, maybe control your toaster oven. Uh, we gotta stop Gozer. So you're saying this is reasonably man, bad, right? Me. It's too late. We're reading petabytes of never before seen data. It's already infecting the system. Oh god, what are we seeing? Get your antivirus up. Yeah, yeah. Now you must destroy the evil versions of yourself. Oh god. Click and hold over enemies to destroy them with the proton beam. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go then. More evil team members you hit, the more energy. Come on. Oh, yes. Get out. Oh, this is alright. Yes, get it. I'll just shot myself in the face. Excellent. All my years of gaming for this. Oh, we're a hundred percent, guys. We're a hundred percent. Oh no! Get out! Oh, come on, come on! Right, die! Die! <laughs> Come on, get out! It's quite satisfying shooting myself in the face. Come on! Have it! So how's everyone else doing? Is everyone else on 100%? Come on! A bit. Alright, All right, that's it. Killing you two. Is everybody okay? There you go, well done guys. We did it. You did it. You saved the world. Save the world. I saved the world. Congratulations. We did it. We did it. Is everyone okay in there? Yes. You actually did it. You came, you yeah. saw, your kid goes in. Yeah. You know, we should really buy them a fruit basket. You know, we should send them a, a nice fruit basket. If you don't mind, I'd love to get a couple of samples. Uh, nothing too invasive, just uh, a brain scan and some mucus swabs. Mucus swabs. They just saved the world. We're proud of you. I guess that makes you just as so much a Ghostbuster as we are. Yeah. Seriously, folks, you you did great, and now you have a highly sought after certificate of authenticity. You are officially the first graduates of the official Ghostbusters Paranormal Institute. Yeah. Good job, folks. You know, it's not every day that you do it. It's a day to do the same thing. The sure ain't. And on behalf of the city, we thank you. Oh, well, if we get served, we'll be some game questions. Congratulations, and thank you! <laughs> well done guys, we saved the world. Again. Again. Unbelievable scene. Oh look, everyone's got 100%. Ah, oh, what is... Okay, well, that's it. There is a whole video that we actually didn't see. Okay. Uh, Professor Whitehead actually connected the fridge to some device, and that's how Dojo got back. I'm guessing that was while, we, while it was frozen or something for us. Yeah, yeah. Well, 
As long as we got 100%, I don't mind. Whatever. <laughs> well done, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for, for being our team. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to save that image because I, sa I, I saved the world. Um, I don't know how to now get out of this um, F11. Okay. There we go. That was fun. That was fun. Apparently the shot, the store is now closed. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. That was fun. It was completely random, but it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the volume is now extremely loud. But yeah, the um, that was good fun. It was a um, it was quite good fun just to go with it, go with it, go with it. I'll do that later. Credits. Okay. I think I, I'm going to say we won. I, I don't think these other guys really got 100. I think we definitely won. Not that I'm competitive or anything, but we definitely won. Definitely. Turquoise team still only got 30, 31%.
tell you what. I'm technically still streaming, aren't I? <laughs> oh, right. So I'm going to call that there. Um, thanks for people that actually watched. That was really random. Um, I'm going to call it there. There we go.